Good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Welcome to the Gray Man Prepping. It is time for Survival Saturday. And tonight's topic, or today's topic, depending on what time zone you're in, factors for prepping. And how are you doing out there? And I got somebody here because he just got a tractor. <laughs> All righty. Um, just get it. I got it like a year and a half ago, but. <laughs> oh, a year and a half ago. Okay. I just saw the video on it from the dealership. The, yeah, actually, I, only got, I only got like 28 hours on it right now. So. 28 hours. I mean, I do that in two days. Oh, stop. That's because you get <laughs> snow. <laughs> no, I'm talking about in the summer times. <laughs> Oh, I only go out to the cabin on weekends. So. Yeah. All righty. So let's see who's all here. Got a bunch more checked in here. So first one in was uh, Phelan Clan Wolf, then Walt Rogers, followed by Jay, and then Mark checked in here, and then Teresa uh, Buchanan, Buchanan, uh, Daniel Berry Sports Highlights, uh, Lewis, it's the Marshmallow Man, Shawnee Shave, Utah Mike, and those are all, all the ones that are commenting so far. All right, now this may this topic may throw a lot of people off, and because some people, I'm trying to do this uh, without offending everybody. <laughs> I'm trying to be politically correct. Actually, I'm politically incorrect, so what the hell? All right. Uh, some people class, classify themselves as the gung-ho preppers. Some of them uh, classify themselves as, as um, homestead preppers. Some of them classify themselves as uh, apartment preppers. So this isn't, isn't for everybody right now, but the information people should have in case they're planning on getting some acreage. No matter what type of prepper they are, if they're planning on getting some acreage, this, some of this information is stuff they should know. So when they're thinking about it, they can write it down in their five, 10 year plan, whatever it is that they're going to be doing. So they um, don't get blindsided when they go and get some property. Well, first, I'm going to drink something. All right. So why? Tractors for preppers. Well, let's go, let's look at some slides here, and then we'll get back into it here real quick here. So we'll go. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, if you can't tell, he's moving rock around. But let's look at some. Okay, so what can you, you know? What can you use? What what can oh, I forgot to put the U in there? Dang it! What can you use them for? Well, depend. That all depends on the attachments you get. All right, and the, and the type of property you have and what you're going to be doing. So you can use them for helping raise food, moving wood and other materials around, such as snow or mud or cow manure or hay or, you know, there's a lot of stuff, you grains. And stuff, there's a lot of stuff you can move with a tractor that is backbreaking to do by hand. You use it for clearing, uh, clearing land. And controlling weeds, and the next one here. Do I got the other one here? They don't have to be new. You can get an. I have an old. Actually, my the one I have is a 1939 uh, N9 Ford tractor, 30 horsepower, and it's it's a clutch drive, and it's a little bit different than driving. For most tractors nowadays, but um, it's a go getter. When it's running, it just keeps on going. Oh, and it's and it's uh, pretty much EMP proof too. I got a question. That depends, Mike. Uh, a, if it's is it diesel or is it gasoline? If it's gasoline, no. No matter what the horsepower is, it does not require. Diesel exhaust uh, fluid. My, mine Obviously. doesn't. It uses some kind of other burning procedure. 
the uh, it has it has a new catalytic converter on it, doesn't it? It's got something where every now and then a light will come on and the RPMs will jack up. You got to let it sit for a half hour and burn gas while it burns off all the stuff that the depth would have gotten rid of and puts yeah. the atmosphere anyway. Go figure. That's that's the catalytic converter. All right. Um, so, but the, for the deaf ones, if you have a 30 horsepower, the 30 or 32 horsepower or greater, you have to get it with the, with the, uh, to take the, uh, Diesel exhaust fluid, which is totally ridiculous. Um, it weakens it and everything else. Um, and I'm going to go into that a little bit more when I show a certain model of tractor here. Um, but yeah. All right, let's see. I'm going to check and make sure on the, on the chat here. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, you know, my, my, uh, my uh, N9 is EMB. P proof up to a certain point, but then I just need to have a uh, points condenser and a new battery to put in it. You know, if it, if it, if it even affects the battery, you know, now there's been tests saying that you know, some people say, Oh, it does, it does affect the battery. It doesn't, it doesn't do nothing to a battery, especially you have, if you have a disconnect switch on it. All righty. Uh, what else we got here? There are all sorts of nice, pretty coyote orange tractors out there. And did I, did I put the other one in there? No, I did not. Okay, so let me go ahead back here, change some things around here, get that down. All right. Um, so um, the, tr the, the tractor I got is, is a um, DS, uh, oh, shoot, hang on. CS2510. Basically, it's a uh, 24 horsepower diesel tractor. Does not have that uh, stuff on it. And when I got it, uh, it was before they put the uh, multiple, the interchangeable front bucket attachments on it. Um, but it's a, uh, it, it came with a backhoe attachment on it, came with a drag box. I got a drag box with it. And, um, slip on forks basically on the bucket you just slip these things on you tighten it down forks and, and for it so it's um that's not bad so let's go over here we're gonna look at some tractors and then we're gonna talk about mark's track all right there are a um, bunch of different ones coyote just i've been waiting for coyote coyote to do this They've come out with the uh, skid steer, steer, which is this one here, and the track uh, steer, or basically a mini track loader. They have uh, they have ones with, with cabs on them. They have ones without cabs on them. Um, Audi has a whole different varieties of everything. They have zero turn, and, mo and most, of, most of them do that. Um, you know, Bobcat has, has some now. Uh, Bobcat has mostly the track and skid steer loaders, and they come out with their own ones a couple of years ago. Um, but there are a bunch of different types of ones you can get for different type type things here. Um, let's see, this is the one. Show, okay, this is a, they have an article on stuff. This is the new one, and I am going to get myself so much trouble with the staff sergeant. You see, that we get a bigger Tractor than my 24 horsepower, which we can either keep or trade off, or we're getting a track steer. Now, um, let's see here. Yeah, so they got the, 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 the uh, skid steers, the track steers, and this is what's important. The interchangeable here, this is the same as the Bobcat. So all the Bobcat attachments on the put on them. And it's like, oh, I want a grappler. They have the grappler, and this the grappler can also be used as a rock rake, too, because of the way the spacing on it is. They have the uh, clamshell buckets. They have all sorts of neat things on it, and we'll look at some of those here in a minute. Um, so I'm going to bring up this. Uh, this is the link. I'm going to drop the link to this video. This is um, 
Mark, you need to talk to these guys to see if they'll let you put this link on your channel. I put the video on your channel itself. I did a while ago. I think you said I could, but I'll ask them again. Yeah. Yeah, you can uh, – uh, there's uh, programs you can just download the whole thing just and then re-upload it over here up, right. to, up to yours. Okay, so this is basically their um, – got down so I don't hear it. This is they're going to be talking you know, uh, create the customer, and they go through – I'm just going to skip – you go through it here. They talk about – so they get the, the parts brought in, and they start uncreating stuff, and they start assembling it, putting it together. You watch the whole thing process. I'm skipping around to adding all the pieces to it. Doing all the different things to it here. Um, so yeah, it comes in in pieces and this it gets assembled here in the US. Then they're you know, hooking the hydraulics up. Yeah. You know, uh putting the fluid in the tires. Did you get fluid in yours? Yeah. Did you get dry tires also? Yeah. yeah. The uh extra auxiliary hookup in the front because I do have the grapple on it now. I picked that up the next year. Yeah, but in the tires themselves, in the rear tires and front tires, did you get the, the, the weighted fluid in it? Yeah, both front and rear. Okay. Which helps out uh, when you're picking heavy stuff up to have the back end weighted. Oh, yeah. And there they are loading up his tractor and his brush hog. And they got drone footage of it being delivered. And so we'll go down here, and uh, you did, you, and you got the rototiller too, right? Yeah, I haven't used it yet. That's coming in this year. Well, All right, so I'll use it this year. Yeah, so he's got the uh, uh, the rototiller, the brush hog, and three point hitch, and uh, there it is, Nate, going along. There he is, receiving it. Yeah, and learning all about it. About 30 pounds heavier there. Yep. And uh, yeah, you, that's the uh, six foot wide or five foot wide? Uh, six foot. Six foot. And uh, there he is. Cutting down the weeds. Yeah, that's nothing. I've been pushing trees over with that thing. Yeah. And that's that's what a lot of people, you know, the people say, oh, what do you need a tractor for? Well, if you have any amount of land, you got the land takes work. You got to keep the weeds under control, so you for fire prevention, uh, be able to uh, use uh, turn it from a weed lot to a producing lot. Rotor tiller for your garden, put in a big garden. There's you know if you have you know yeah even if you have only an acre or an acre and you know if you have an acre you're going to need, need a small at least a little size I have. You don't need the backhoe attachment like I have on mine. But you're going to need um, a rotor tiller because I tell you, trying to rotor till, you know, you're not going to, you know, so you have an acre lot, you're going to put in a garden. The garden is probably going to be a half acre at least. And you're going to need uh, something besides a walk behind rotor tiller. Do you, oh, you don't, uh, so you got the grapple for yours now, right? You said? I'm sorry. What was that? I was in the middle of a uh, cutting steak there. What's up? <laughs> Cutting steak. You have you have the, you so you said you got the grapple now for it too. Yeah, I picked that up last year. The tractor I've had for two years. Picked up the grapple last year because I really needed it. Because pushing over, if you look at the drone footage in the very beginning where they show it, that whole four acre field is nothing but eight to twelve foot stupid white pines, which are worthless junk. A firewood. I've been pushing all of them. Well, yeah, but I've been pushing them all over because that field used to be clear. Yeah. I'm pushing them over, picking them up, piling them out back. Next winter time, we'll probably just have a big old burn pile party. Yeah, there's a couple. There's probably about three, four hundred of those pine trees. That grapple is, yeah, need it. You ain't doing that with a bucket. Yeah. Um, have you thought about getting a the um, the fork attachment for it? I'm thinking about it, depending on what I what's coming up. I might. Um, yeah. There's enough around here. I got more tractor places around here that all have them, and they're all. I got the quick attach, you know, for the uh, bobcat stuff. Yeah, a friend of mine has a bobcat. He'll let me have whatever attachment I want to borrow. That's cool. Being able to share attachments with neighbors and friends is important. All right. Um, let's see here. I want to look something else up here real quick here for you guys. Um, 
Don't mind the background noise. I'm like prepping and cooking and stuff right now. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to show you some attachments that, you know, show you exact a whole bunch more of what you can do with one of these. Um, so on the quick change bucket, you can put any of the attachments that go on the, on the track stair or a skid stair also go on the, uh, the, um, the loader bucket for the tractors. Um, they got, um, uh, the three point hitches in, in the back. They, and they got quick ones on the front. So, you know, they got post hole diggers, uh, jack hammers, um, trying to see here what all they got there. Oh, they got the trencher attachment for it. Uh, they got backhoe attachments that can go on, on it, and this can go on the front of uh, his as well, but it's, you know, a little bit weird and different to use it that way. Yeah, you, you, need, you need to have multiple hydraulic lines for the front attachment on a tractor. Yeah. Um, but, um, you know, you got the, 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 the grapple there and the grapple comes with different size spacing on the, um, uh, uh between them there. So depending on what you put, you got a, um, uh, a three-way bucket there, which is really great. Uh, I actually, for the, uh, the coyote bucket, because all the pivot points are have grease fittings. The uh, the Titan one that you're looking at, that one second down on the right there in the small pictures, there are zero grease points and it's really floppy. And I looked at it, they were cheap. I'm like, yeah, no, I don't want that. I want something with grease yeah. points. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, and they have, they have, the, have, the, have the grapple on the regular bucket. They got grapples for uh, you go along and just pick up the stuff. They got a snow blower attachment. You don't need you don't get snow there, do you? Oh yeah, I do. I mean, two years ago when I right before I bought the property, there was 18, 20 inches of snow on the ground in March. Okay. We got a little this year, we got like 10, 12. I mean, it's in South Central PA. So yeah, we get snow there. It just, just oh, it's, uh, yeah, you do. It wasn't right. that bad. Okay, and they have attachments, and this goes on a track steer, but this can also go on the regular uh, you know, you know, um, you know, you know, regular uh, tractors and stuff, and it helps you for uh, le uh, leveling as you go. That way, the that you level in front of where your wheels are, instead of behind. It's so like a drag box behind, and it's you know, you, this can actually help you level stuff quicker. And it's hydraulic and controlled for the tilt pitch and everything else. What else we got here? Um, so like the. Uh, you know, I said post hole digger can go both on, you know, it can go on his tractor as well with that quick connect front. You got to have the hydraulics for it, though. And you got trenchers that go on the front as well. Um, they got they got a simple backhoe attachment for it. Go on on them as well for digging not too deep, but if you're going to need, oh, I want to go down digging, you know, you know. Three, maybe three feet, maybe four feet deep. You can, you know, use one of those for it. Um, oops, I don't want to just do that one. Let's see here. Um, they have um, grinders, and you know, forest forestry cutters and stuff. To, uh, to take, you can just have one of those on there. You can just go right across the trees up to certain sizes. Just, just grinds everything up. They got brooms and uh, all sorts, of, all sorts of attachments there. But you know, so anything that goes on a bobcat will go on a coyote, and some other companies have their attachments as well. Um, this here is the uh, is a uh, this is a stand on one, so you stand on this one here. But this attachment here is a you know. Is a, is a monster uh, um, brush hog grinder. But uh, yeah, there's all sorts of cool things you can do with a tractor. Um, 
Let's see, let me see if I can bring up here. All right, so I'm going to go. I'm going to go over to the coyote attachments, and they got front ones. They got quick connects for the back for the three point hitches. They got the uh, chisel plows, the uh, scraper boxes with um, man manual or hydraulic uh, rippers on it. They got angle blades. They got landscape rakes or rock rakes, is what do you want to call it? Um, Mine has a uh, the backhoe attachment on it, which comes on and off. Um, three point hitch. They got uh, stump grinders. Um, you know, this is a uh, what is that one they're using there? It looks like almost like a a, a a a broom behind it. Three three point broom, but uh, yeah, it was like a box rake or a box grater. Yeah. So because this one here, let's see. Let me. Hey, let's go take a look at this. See if it shows it. Uh, I'm looking at that because it's got a wheel behind it. So this is this is like we're uh, we're going across a parking lot and brooming. It's a power broom. Okay. But yeah, there's all sorts of you know, you know, you can even get on the front. They have the uh, angle blade for the front that it goes on a bucket. They have the angle blade that is. Uh, that you have to change out, pull the bucket off, which is a pain in the butt. And then they also have the angle blade that goes on the three-point hitch. Um, they got uh, blade buckets and stuff for everything else. They got the front snow blower, and that's what the quick attach uh, uh, thing works. So everything locks on that. Those are the locking handles for locking the different attachments with or whatever it is on the front. They have the rear pull digger too. Personally, I'd rather have the front postal digger on a quick quick connect. And there's the uh, it connecting to a bucket there. So it's you know it's really you know amazing the things you can do with it. There's one with just the forks. The fork quick attach gives you more leverage and lift than the, the ones that goes on the front of the bucket like I have. Give you several gives you several hundred more pounds of lifting capacity. Um, Actually, the, the lifting capacity on my Coyote is, uh, I think it's 400 pounds more than the other orange tractor. Yeah. Which, yeah. It, 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 just about all the way all the way around. It's, it lifts more front and back than the uh, the other orange tractor. Yep. And I got a my, well, friend of mine, his father passed away, and they really don't use 90% of the farm implements anymore, but they have a 60-horse tractor. So some of the, uh, I really want the wood chipper. But it sits a little too high for my PTO. Yeah. And uh, this is the uh, this is a size bigger than mine. Mine is the twenty five ten. This is the twenty six ten. Uh, but it has this. this they both take the same backo attachment on it. And uh, they also come have have a PTO on the bottom. So you uh, it has the, the, the you drive your front wheels go drive up over that uh, mower and you get in position. It grabs it, picks it up. And connects it up, so you can go out drive around mowing and stuff. Yeah, I don't have that. Mine's too big. Yeah, um, these are a little bit different um, type forks than what I have on mine. But yeah, you got all sorts of different things. Like I said, there's all sorts of different attachments. Um, now this is a three three blade uh, brush hog. There's the rotor tiller. Um, Okay, so you can do a lot, lot with these. Um, the backhoe buckets, you uh, you can get different sizes for them, um, and different different size tractors take different uh, three point backhoe. Basically, you disconnect the three point hitches on a lot of them, and you hook it on. Others have the actual hook up to the three point hitch, the backhoe attachments on them. Uh, yeah, there is a lot of different things you can do with these. Well, the good the good thing about most tractors in the twenty five to forty horse range, yeah. yeah, all these attachments are like interchangeable. So you know, you have a neighbor that has a 
a brush hog and you have a finish mower, you can you can swap them. I mean, if you get yes. mowing, and the backhoe attachments, I don't have the backhoe. It was a little out of my price range at the time. Of course, it'll be more now if I want to put it on there, but that's another story. Yeah. Um, I found out, you know, I have the back, got the backhoe attachment. Um, what I would rather have gotten, yeah, I, you know, but the, the, the price on the one I got was, was, it was on sale, came with the, uh, the backhoe attachment on it. And, um, it was, it was, it was price to move. And so, uh, that's what the, uh, the accountant went for. I'd rather have gotten the um, a, a, a 35 or, uh, you know, like you got the 39 and a half in, uh, horsepower tractor. But uh, we may wind up getting getting a second tractor because, you know, uh, you know, there's that we need something bigger as well. Well, and the, the things that's nice about that the little one, it's four foot wide. I can go in places the bigger one can't go. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, they, oh, wait a minute, let me throw this one up here. They also have, they comes with the uh, the brush. Uh, you can take off the uh, loader attachment and you can put on the brush on that, or you can put the brush get the brush ones that go on on with the loader as well. But yeah, there's a lot of things to consider doing if you have, and even if you like, some people have a, um, a hunting cabin, vacation cabin away. Yeah, one of the one of these things is up there great for maintaining the property. You go up from the weekend, you with the brush hog, you mow all the weeds down all around, keep the big you know things away from it. You got uh, trees growing up that you don't uh, you know starting to grow up near it. You can just use it, and push it over, and haul them off and stuff. And that, that's, that's where stuff. mine is. Mine lives yeah. in a, in a twenty foot container when I'm not there, all locked up with yeah. a fifty five gallon jug of diesel ready to go. So there's a, a lot of a lot of uh, advantages to having a tractor. Now, even if you're in, <laughs> I all I'm saying is I'm trying to think of the word for a term for it. I don't think you have a term for it. You're not quite rural, but you're not really suburban. You're sub rural. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, because where my my parents were, we were sub rural. Because we weren't rural, because we were surrounded by different cities, you know, close. And uh, but everyone around us were uh, we had the smallest lot with an acre and a quarter. Uh, people next to us had a uh, fifteen acre one. The one across the street had a fifty acre one. One uh, down the street had five acres, five acres, ten acres, and then there was a uh, uh, was it a two thousand acre vineyard. Um, oh. Hi, Glenn. And I can start that going. Don, WD Glock and Rolls in the house. Don's here. And uh, so one of the things you can do is if you don't, you don't have to buy new. You can buy used. And um, like Shani's saying, I need to buy a really old. You definitely you don't have to buy a really old one. Um, let me see if I can bring something up here for you guys to look at here. Uh I've been following uh, since before I got my tractor. I've been following this guy. Come on. All right. Here we go. So, tractor mic. All right. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm subscribed to him on uh, both channels. And so I'm going to drop his link down here. There's his link. He talks about he used to be work for a dealership, the New Holland dealership where he's at in Missouri. And he was, he's retired from it. But he's, he, he, I mean, he's answers 512 videos on tractor questions. And then he has uh, his blog and everything else. Uh, he has asktractormike.com. And he has more links and stuff, but uh, he talks about you know all the different types of uh, compact versus utility, um, and he goes on and talks about all the different ones. And he goes he goes to the tractor shows, and he talks about hooking up and everything else. But uh, 
If you're, in, if you're even thinking about it or even dreaming about it, check out TractorMike.com. He doesn't push any particular brand. He talks about different brands of stuff, all the different ones. He has stuff about box blades. Yeah, it's, you know, basics and options, a plow playlist, tractor attachment playlist. And, you know, yeah, so there's a lot of, uh, he even has had his daughter learning to, uh, out there learning to unload bales of hay and stuff, the, the big round bales and stuff. So he was teaching her how to do stuff. So, uh, yeah, no, no matter what kind of tractor you get, new use or other, mm -hmm. you got to look at the maintenance. Yeah. So not like a car, you buy a car, change the oil every now and then or forget about it. But if you don't do the maintenance on it, so I'm far enough out where I am. Yeah, I blew an O-ring on one of my hydraulic lines. I was bleeding oil all over the ground, trying to get it back to the to the uh, cabin. And it took me two hours driving around to find an O-ring that fit this particular hydraulic fitting at Ace Hardware. So I bought 20 of them for 30 cents a piece and yeah. put them in my toolbox. So if I blow another one, I got it right away. But oil yeah. filters, air filters, an extra belt, depending on your tractor. Yeah. Back years ago, when I worked for a construction company, I was running the the, the lube fuel truck. Um, we would go out and buy the kits from Harbor Freight of O rings, and they had several different one, different ones. And we'd buy all of them, keep them in the truck there, because it would be like if you know, something happens, you know, it's going to be maybe an, an hour or two for a mechanic to get out there, and we're out there on the job site fueling stuff. It's like, okay, you're up and running. Here's two more spare ones. If you don't use them, give them back to me tomorrow. Mechanical will be out here later to put the proper name brand high dollar O-ring in it. Uh, some O-rings are not like the ones I found out. No, the regular, I forget which it was, uh, I forget the name of the tractor company, but they were open. I went in there and showed them the O-ring and they literally just shook their head at me. They're like, no, it's a coyote. I'm like, really? They're like, yeah, they use a different, not their own, but some other manufacturer of hydraulic ones. I'm like, okay. Uh -huh. so, Found it at Ace Hardware, though. Go figure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, here I, I'm, I'm pulling something up here specifically for Shawnee and anybody else that's thinking about it. So here where I'm at, I'm in East Idaho. So I typed in, you know, tractors for sale, East Idaho Craigslist. Uh, boom. All right. Um, $5,000 for this uh, tractor here. Let's see. Let's see what that tractor is all about. Open a new tab. This is um, this is a case eight five eight uh, eight eight five. Um, okay, this one has the uh, the grill's gone up and the radio's still okay. So has the hours on it. Comes with they're selling it with a uh, post a, a postal attachment on it, and it's got serial numbers and stuff. So yeah. Um, you know, different ones and stuff. Some of these, uh, uh, and that's the thing. Is my, uh, the tractor I, I got is a four-wheel drive tractor, unlike these the older ones. Uh, my my uh, Ford 9N out there is two-wheel drive like this case. But uh, it depends on the – you look at the horsepower here on 48 horsepower. That's, 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 that's bigger than uh, either of ours. Uh, 38, that's about the same size as um, – Marks, uh, 25 horsepower. Uh, let's take a look at that one just to see that what that one is open and new. That is uh, Sugar City. Okay, that's a little twenty thousand dollars. That is a TYM. Uh, was it TYM and Branson merged or something like that? But yeah. So those, those are some of the new ones. So uh, let me see if I can see. Uh, change this down here so i'm just going to do no uh where is where is where is it oh owner so i'm changing it just to owner only and has image let me eat down it's showing another crap here okay so like there's three tractors around here or four well you're getting bigger one back oh you know that's you know well some people may want that but the three of the small tractors here that are um, for sale by owner. Now, if I go to dealer, there's a bunch of different ones from dealers. Uh, now you're getting to the, uh, the mini excavators. Um, if I, like, if I need a mini excavator, I go rent it. 
seriously. I, I, I've rented it, rented the X, those mini excavators three or four times now. And this spring, I'm going to be renting it, renting it again. But, uh, so there are, let me see here. What's, what's my miles? Hey, I'm, I'm going to exit off of here and hop in on my computer. Okay. I'll, I'll be right back. All right. So there's uh, you just put it and you search for things. And that's the other thing. If you're in a snow area, they make the these uh, different companies make these quick attach uh, snow pushers, which is one of the things that we'll probably wind up getting after my wife gets up here, and she sees what you know because she's seen me a couple times pushing snow, but you know she you know that's what. I, Yeah. Um, all right. Let's see here. Okay, my husband needs to work on it. Yeah, some of the old, some of the nice older Fords cases, um, Farmalls. Oh, Far um, Farmall Fanatics is another channel I follow. You back, Mark? You on the computer? Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. And yeah, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, make a list of what you think you're going to need it for. And, um, you know, when I first got, got the got my little coyote, one of the first things that I was doing was uh, the the most of the property across the street there that's what you know, we didn't have bought this one yet. Um, the man, be, uh, the, the guy that owned it, um, had. Old man uh, Credle was a weird one. He had all this, these little berms going out this way, that way, trying to direct water all over out there, you know, from the flood irrigation. And all it was, could be used for is put cattle out on or horses out on there to just to graze. And I wanted to use it for more. So I had to try to knock down all these berms that had been out there for years. And so we got uh, wound up getting the back attachment. So I'd go out there and you know, dig some of the berms, break them loose, and use the uh, the loader bucket. Start pushing dirt around, leveling stuff out, and finally, I just it got so bad. It's like I know I just went out and rent, uh, rented a um, for three days. Rented a uh, D5 dozer with a um, five way blade on the front, and you know did a great job on it. I got that video on my other channel, but um, you know you need to figure out what you're going to want to use them for. And um, do stuff. One of the things I did, um, I did do on it immediately using the backhoe around the house over there. There was one, one outside water spigot. That was it, one. And so, basically, what I did was I, I went out. I got my got the backhoe on there. I dug trenches, ordered uh, several um, water hydrants. Put PEX piping down in the ground, put my hydrants around, back built and stuff. So I put in so I put in one, two, three, four um yard hydrants in over there. And so I could get out in water. And so my and my daughter was wanting to put in a garden out there and didn't want to have to run miles of garden hose. So after I could put the yard hydrants in, then she was able to go out where she wanted the garden, start putting in the garden, water it. And so, um, yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, stuff to it. The next the next attachment I got for my back uh, for my tractor, so I had the um, four, the nine end came with an angle blade on the back of it, which um, I use I use for moving snow mainly. The coyote came with a had the loader attachment on the front, had the back go attachment on the back, a drag box, drag scraper whatever you want to call it that little thing right there um i got the forks for it um the angle blood the angle blade off of the um ford tractor is interchange and, and my box blood and my box thing here are interchangeable between the two tractors the three-point hitch stuff 
So the next thing I got was a, um, a, a five foot um, brush hog or rotary mower. And, um, and that's interchangeable between the two of them. And you know what? Um, then I get bought a, a bought a, a used set of discs. Let me see here. Um, hang on, here I'm gonna put bring it up here. Three point. Yeah, Lewis just mentioned a generator for the PTO, which I have my eyes on. Want to use one? It's like twelve hundred bucks, but it's pretty beefy, and it'll it'll go on my thirty five. Okay, none are for sale right now. Okay, so I'm just going to go here and do. Um, I'm going to piss away here. Um, so I went and got my um, um, brush hog down at Tractor Supply. I got Rural King near me. They got some interesting attachments there sometimes. Not too bad of pricing. But sometimes it's cheaper to get it used online where somebody bought it and yeah, three years later decided they only needed it for one thing and it just sits there so they sell it cheap. Yeah. See, this will bring it up here. Yeah. And so I got a disc set like this. Hey, that looks almost like it's on my tractor. It uh, looks like a, uh, a Ford tractor. So I got a disc set like that, which um, I use. Uh, I picked mine up used for um, $600, $800, half the price of a new one. And you can buy new discs at Tractor Supply if you need them. Yeah. But it thinks the, the guy got it you know, on his new place. He was, was going to disc everything up. And where he bought, my wife and I had looked at that area up in there. We go, oh, no, there's too much. Because I, I being construction, I could spot soil conditions immediately. I'm looking, uh, there's a lot of rock here. And <laughs> even though they'd smooth stuff over, as soon as he started discing, he brought up all these cobbles. I mean, seriously, cobble, you know, cobbles, tons of them. And uh, so I got lucky on my open four acres where the trees are all growing. Pretty yeah. sure somebody farmed that because there is not a rock anywhere. But I got lots of rocks within the first 12, 13 inches of soil everywhere else on the property. So somebody hounded that one out. Yeah. Yeah, Glock and roll. I use, I use mine done. more than the bucket. <laughs> yeah. But there, there's a lot of different th things to it. Uh, so th I got that. And then the last thing I got was... Um, Hang on here. Let me get, bring it up here. Um, uh, broke. Sales item falls. There we go. Boom, boom. Bring up their website and let's see what they show here. Anyways, I don't agree. This is this is where I've been buying all my stuff. Uh, that pro equipment up there in Idaho Falls. Uh, Used for I don't see what's used for sale up there. Ah. Oh. Okay. That's only Bob. twenty-five grand, mom. <laughs> no, thirty-five grand. Oh, thirty-five. <laughs> Whoops. But that—that's you know. That's not bad there. That's a 2019. How many hours? And you also got to look at the maintenance crew they have on hand. Oh, are they really they, maintaining it, or are they just making it look pretty? These were these were these were the uh, rental ones they're getting rid of. Right, you got to look at the maintenance guys that they have yeah. there. Are they really maintaining it well? There's a couple around here where, yeah, you rent it and it break. You get the insurance for 15 bucks. It's guaranteed if you rent the wrong thing, that yeah. that motor or whatever's on there is going to break before you get two hours into it. And yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. It's not showing the. Uh, they changed their website again. They're not listing the. Uh... Okay, let's try. Ah, oh, they're not. They're not showing uh, what they have. You know, a 
so they started redoing their website, so it's screwed up. They did that about three years ago, and I went down there and complained, hey, you're not showing the stuff we want people want to look at, so you're losing a lot of customers. And I, I well, actually, I asked to talk to the manager, told him that, and, oh, he went off on their new IT person. Why aren't you showing this whole They don't need to see that. We need to show some stuff. And it's like, we got customers in here complaining because they can't see what we got. We're losing customers. And so it sounds like they got someone back in there again. Ugh. The... Um, when you heard that, but um, so I picked up the uh, 50 inch rotor rotor uh, teller or called rotivator. Depends what company how many just call it the rotor teller. Sometimes they call it a rotivator. The attachment, yeah. the three point attachment on the back, tiller attachment. Yeah, tiller attachment, whatever. And um, yeah, that was the next thing I got. And oh man, yeah, it makes a big difference. It also makes big, you know, I'll go through and uh, I was I used the brush hog across the street last summer. And once I got that, I started going around with that. It really, oh, it was so, it, so all that stuff I, I, I took down with the brush hog, all the high weeds and stuff were laying on the ground. Well, I came along with the rotivator and it just turned it in. So I put all that organic material back into the soil. So. You know, before, you know, we got to decide what you want to do, what you need, and don't forget your seasons. Um, if you only got a quarter acre to to work on, it might hand tools and small push rototillers and stuff like that, mowers are yeah. better and yeah. not, not a tractor. If you got more than an acre or so, yeah, you may want to look into it if you're going to do the whole thing, which I'm going to be doing whole yeah. food forest stuff there with, with uh, fruit trees and that. I got four acres to play with, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, with, with the five acres over there, we went with that with uh, 20, uh, 24 horsepower. I wish we'd gone with a 35 or 40 horsepower with a cab on it. Yeah, I thought about the cab, but I can – there's kits with the uh, – you're a little colder out there, but – yeah, I can get a kit. It's well, like it's, a, it's, it's like a not frame the cold. you can put over it. You get the snap-on vinyl stuff you can put over it. And then the heat yeah. from the engine blows on you. I don't have the air conditioning and the CD player and all yeah, that you stuff. Don't need, you don't need the CD player. But in the summertime, and I'm out there working in the dirt. Oh, oh man. Keep, I wish I had a cab on it. Yeah, the, the, the cab. You got vitamin D. <laughs> Yeah, but but I don't need to be sandblasted. <laughs> yeah, come in, come inside, shake all my clothes off outside. Oh, dang, there's bunches of uh, dirt now on my uh, back step. Well, if you have but, nobody uh, nearby, so you have an outdoor shower. You just strip down, shower, go inside, change. You're good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll just I'll just shake off and take the air hose, and blow myself off, and then go into the bathroom and. Do that, but yeah, the uh, yeah. So you you know what, what that brings up. You know, when are you going to be using it for? If you're in a cold environment, or are you going to be used to doing snow? Um, but and the other thing is too, when you buy buy the, like a track the tractor, there are. Let's see if I can find one here. Okay, all right, here we go. This one here is that's up here. So I'm just going to bring this one up here right now. Uh, actually, that's a small. That, yeah, I'll bring that up again. Okay, so on this one here, you have all your controls over here. You got all these hydraulics and different things. You have hydraulics coming up front for other attachments, um, and depend on what you get. Let's see if I can find one with. Uh, I'll be right back. I got to go stir the pot yeah. of sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Tractor attachment. Let me try putting something else in here and control. See if it'll bring up the. Uh, uh, all right. So when you got the uh, like the um, thing on here, it will have extra hydraulic fittings down here on the side. Let's see if I can bring. Say, I'm just going to enlarge that. Save as. Da, 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 good. Save. Bring it up here and then make this big. All right, you can see all the hydraulic because this um, 
this is the, the quick connect for all the hydraulics on the on the loader so you can actually take the loader off and not run it with a loader on it personally i've never taken my loader off i don't ever plan on taking my loader off um but you have uh usually you have four hoses going up to control the uh, the lift and lower on the um on the arm and the curl and dump on the bucket. Well, the all these others are for the attachments up front for running the clamshell hydraulics and other hydraulics up there as well. And if you're going to be getting clamshell, you want to make sure the tractor comes with all the hydraulics on it. Some of them come just like mine does not have all that crap on it because it didn't have the quick connect on it. It was they they, they were thinking at the time. I was thinking, oh, well, nobody's going to want to put, you know, change buckets on these little small tractors. And uh, the next year, they started, you know, they had so many people complaining that the next year, the fall or the year after that, they started putting the uh, quick uh, connect on the uh, the small tractors because everybody wanted them. So that's just one of the things to think about when you're doing these. You know, you know, make sure if you're ever thinking about, oh, I may get this on it. It's cheaper to get the Get it put on at the beginning, then get it retrofitted later on. So, you know, there, there are th things that I learned. It's like, you know, yeah. Or if you're in super hot, dusty cl climate, uh, air-conditioned cab is great. Um, so there are different things to look at for what, you know, you're going to need. And that's, that's some of that stuff jacks up the price. Oh, let me go ahead and get rid of that. Let me try one other thing here. Um, come on, there we go. Get rid of that one. That one. What I missed. No. I'm just uh, going through some stuff here. Okay. Um, Got to change something here to. Is mapped. Trying to get something to come up here. There we go. Uh, Okay, so I just switched around uh, and, and see uh, owner. There we go. So I, I switched from here in Idaho back to, to San Francisco Bay Area. I got a few more little things to choose from. A twenty five hundred dollars for a Yan Yanmar, uh, a Japanese made one. Yanmar. Some people say it's pretty good, but this one looks like it's been old and beat. Just had new tires put on it. There's an old Kubota. Oh, geez, that looks like the one we used to have at that. Mountain Cascade got rid of it. It's even got the uh, weights on the front. Wow. Yes. No bucket attachment, just weights no, to no. keep it from doing yeah. a wheelie. So you can pick up heavy stuff in the back. Um, you know, brush hog attachments, post holder attachments, other tech. What is a Toyota Pro Prius being listed in the tractor, not back tractor? Don't know. Um, Maybe it's got a PTO. <laughs> But, no, yeah. Maybe not. But yeah, you, you just you know there are there are other uh, besides um, Craigslist. There's some other uh, farm tractor ones you can look, you can find and look up to find uh, stuff for sale. You can find a marketplace Facebook. Yeah, marketplace Facebook. But there, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was. Somewhere on my other computer over here, I got the link saved to the one that basically it's um, um, Rocky Mountain. Um, Thing that thing for, for for farmers. And the one ad press. I remember the one ad press. Yeah. Hey, Christy, how's it going? Yeah. And so, if, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy one, figure out what you need to get, what you need to have on it. See if you can find a used one that's been you maintained and they got their service record on it. Um. Watch for things being on sale. Don't buy the first thing you go out you see. 
And Watch. beware of auctions. Yeah. Make sure you, you know, make sure it has, you know, has, you know, you know, like some of them, uh, tractors I've seen, they actually, they even have the uh, 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 PTO rear, P -P PTO down, and PTO front. Power takeoff, PTO, power takeoff. And for different attachments. And there's uh, all sorts of different ones to do. Um, yeah. And there are, there are, you know, like, there, are, there you know, so you got Case, you got uh, TYM, you got Branson, which has now been bought, uh, bought up. You got uh, Kubota, you got uh, Coyote, you got Ford, you have um, John Deere, of course. New um, Holland. New, Ho oh, New Holland, yeah, blue, big blue. Yeah, they're, they're um, a little pricey. <laughs> but uh, you know, there's, a, there's a bunch of those. And then there's the, um, oh, oh, shoot, what is it? Stone Ridge farmer he was using, and he actually he he was uh, he had a, a, a rent on um, on the quote loaner thing. They were loaned it to him so he could do videos and stuff and using it. And he wound up going ahead and getting one. Mahindra, um, no, um, tracks or something like that. It's a, it's a, basically it's our particular steering one you ride on. You can change off. You can put you can put stuff on the front. You can put stuff. Oh, it's on green. The back. It's green, right? No, it's not green. It's red and gray. No, because the green one is on the uh, the website that I bought my stuff from. They have yeah. that. Those are those are expensive, but those are meant for more contractors and that. Well, th this one was was a prop, was uh, a comparative, but this thing here can go hmm. sideways practically. Oh, it's, it's got the articulating bit. axles. It, yeah, well, the whole the whole thing bends in the middle. Yep, and then each axle can go up and down like feet. But, but it, 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 come, it comes on with, with it, and it comes on where you have either one set of wheels on it or you can put dualies on it. Oh, wow. Some um, of those ones, you can, you, can crawl, you can stay level in a culvert where, you know, your right wheels will go down like three feet yeah. and your, uh, your left wheels stay up tight. There's yeah. some really expensive stuff out there. Not that I anybody in this channel might need something like that, but you never know. All right. Uh, let's see if I can find it here for you guys real quick because um, – Find this. See if I can find the tractors. Um, okay, here we go. Avanti? No. No, 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 no. It's made in America. It is Ventrac. Ventrax. Oh, yeah, that's another one. Yeah, with the dualies. Yeah, and, and it's on Stony Ridge, or Stony Ridge Farm. If you go in there to his, go to playlist, made in America. And the first one. And yeah, yeah, they have all kinds of attachments for that. They have like giant leaf blowers for the front and vacuum bags and mower. Yep. Right now, like he's showing here with the um, with the brush hog on it, their type version of a brush hog. Yeah, in the there. front, yeah. <laughs> in the front, in, not the back. In, you can see where you're going. Yeah, yeah, and. uh uh, and he said, I has all sorts of videos on it, use, using it and stuff. But let me go ahead and uh, switch off here for a second. And let me go and get. Um, control C. Because I was actually looking at this and. Um, Let's uh, get some stuff up here. Images on it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. D Dooley's on it, articulating steering in the middle there, and takes it right down into the water. I mean, and yeah, those things aren't cheap either. They're good. They're good little little machines. They're not cheap either. Uh, yeah, but they do. You know, they got. Also, they got a bunch of different attachments to it, and um, even has the loader attachment for it. But yeah, there's a lot of uh, oh, okay. That is not a rotor tiller. That is a power rake. And basically, it's just moving the rock forward as it rakes it out level for road leveling. 
But uh, that was like a rock hound. Uh, no, this this is a this is a um, seed drill. Oh wow! So basically, it's it's uh it's rotor tailing, leveling, and um, it doesn't it doesn't look like I have the seed drill attachment on it. So this is just the the rotor tailor with a leveler and the um, thing on it. So basically, it, see that makes it really kind of um not smooth but level. So you need when you put out your seed and you drag behind it and level it off, you're covering your seed. But look at that! Look at that! Look at that! That's the one thing about it. It is an angle beast, and it's got the rotor tiller. It's got you know all sorts of cool attachments for it. Dude, I mean, big thatcher. Jeez. Yeah. And uh, going up, going up the hills and stuff. And so it's got, it's got the, it's got uh, the low, the small bucket on it. Besides the big loader bucket, so you just, you don't have to get the big loader bucket. You just want to move little, you know, little, little things around. So yeah, you know, there's all, you know, this one here is, is I, I've, I've looked at this a bunch. I like that too. This is what they use on golf courses when they get near the sand traps. It's a, it's a, uh, the, the outer mower thing goes up and down. But yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff here for, for the Ventrax. But yeah, there's a, if you, you know, if you're thinking about getting a tractor, um, this is uh, the one to get here. All righty. Um, let me go and grab this here real quick here. So we've, we've gone over an hour here. So, all right. So coming up here. Um, Monday on uh, Camp Patton Family Compound, we're going to be doing canning sauces. Talking about all right now. <laughs> yeah, do all the different types of sauces you can make and do and stuff for canning for long term storage. <coughs> and uh, and there are a lot of different uh, tomato sauces you can do. That uh, you know, yeah, we bought a bunch of ones in the cans and. Canned tomato sauces, even though you can get them cheap at the store, they're not good for long term because it will eventually eat through the can. It's kind of hard for it to eat through the glass jar. Uh, Tactical Tuesday, where we at? Um, what are your essentials? We're going to talk about your, your essentials for prepping and what are your essentials, what are not essentials, and um, basically your your basic survival, uh, long term survival going on in case there's a, a food cha a food chain supply other chain supply thing going down uh <clears throat> thursday is the midnight ride uh, friday is clothing allergies on camp Patton family compound next saturday here are you and i froze are you protecting your preps properly so that's what we're going to be talking about. All right. Uh, so once again, do I got it there? No, I don't got it there. Hang on. Um, dang. Let me bring it up here. There it is. Um, so uh, when Mark got his uh, Coyote, the dealership, uh, wrong one, come on. Wrong link. Uh, where is it? There it is. There's I the told right him link. he could. I, I told him he could do a video if he if he calls out the name of my property, Mad Chick Acres, and he did in the very beginning. Yes, he did. <laughs> All right. There's the link to uh, to Mark getting his thirty nine and a half horsepower Coyote delivered. You know, that it basically the dealership from crate putting it together, assembling everything, and delivering it out there and them actually doing a little bit of use out there. So uh, there's that. Thanks for coming up, Mark. Come hey, in. And everyone, thank you for in the side chat and listening and those that stuck around. Thank you. And uh, so hopefully we will see you um, Monday over on uh, uh, Camp Hatton Family Compound for the canning. Remember, stay happy no matter what life throws at you. Stay safe. Don't go out and do anything foolish. Keep adding to your preps. Water, food. 
medicine, clothing. Learn a new skill, like driving a tractor. And uh, try doing uh, try doing a uh, bigger garden this year. Take care, everyone.